The Bible, is it relevant to today? Is it old fashioned? Is it out of date? David, tell us why should people believe what the Bible says? I think that we have got to show that the Bible is relevant, that it's a book that can change our lives. Uh, we can model our lives and many of the teachings of Christ in this book. And it's something that is excellent in order for it to be a, a life manual for us. We believe that Christianity is the true and only way. Tell us a bit about that today. There are many, many religions. Now some may say, well, well surely they can't all be wrong. Well, I would say, well, surely they can't all be right. None of this was there at the, the beginnings. Neither the evolutionist, neither the creationist. None of us was there when it began. And, and this is why the creationist says, but God was there. Not only was he the eyewitness, but he was the creator. And he has left us a record of it in Genesis. But people say, well, God's doing nothing. Well, that's not really true. God has already done something. And what God has done was he sent his son to go on to that cross to die for the sins of man. That's what God has done. This series will cover questions like the origins of the universe, the Big Bang, evolution. Did God create the world? Is Christianity the only true religion? The Bible, is it relevant to today? What about the stories in the Bible? Noah's Ark, the Flood, Jonah and the Whale, the parting of the Red Sea. Are they literal? Did they really happen? Why would a God of love allow pain and suffering and war in the world? Why are Christians laughed at, mocked, ridiculed and even killed for their faith across the world? Is being a good person enough for God? Why would a God of love send people to hell? I believe in God, do I still need to be born again? What does it mean to be saved, to be born again?